it's me, to be flowers guy. Please excuse me, I got a bit of a cut on my face. I was shaving earlier. And welcome to this week's edition of the Flyers Guys Top 10. I'm your host, to be Flyers Guy, and I pray my first. In my last video, I discussed my top 10 favorite Philadelphia Flyers. In this week's video, I'm going to be counting down my top 10 favorite Philadelphia Flyers enforcers. We are, I'm going to discuss my top 10 favorite Philadelphia Flyers enforcers. And we're going to start at number 10, Todd Fedorik. Todd Fedorik played for the ECHL affiliate of the Philadelphia Flyers, the Trenton Titans. He was brought up to the Philadelphia Phantoms. He had some of the best fights in his career. Uh, also, he was then sent up to the big club, the Philadelphia Flyers. Let me tell you something. This Todd Fredorick, he was a big guy. He was a tough guy. He could go. I remember seeing him play, um, I remember watching him play Eric Goddard, or Eric Karen in the fight. Todd Fredorick absolutely annihilated that guy in that fight. It was an amazing fight. It was back in 03-04 season. It was a great bout for Todd Fredorick. Todd Fredorick has some, some of the best bouts in the NHL, the ECHL, and the AHL as well. You can forget how he knocked out Billy Tibbetts in the game against the Los Angeles Grand Penguins. Todd Fedorick also won a Calder Cup with the Philadelphia Phantoms in 2005. Now we get into my number nine pick here on this countdown. And at number nine, 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 Donald Brashear. Donald Brashear, let me tell you about Donald Brashear. I remember seeing this guy. He would fight all the time. Every time when I would do a game, I would see him fight guys half his size. And I would see him fight to take these guys down. Donald Brashear was a big dude himself. Whenever he fought, it, it was, uh, whenever you fought, Donald Brashear was like a nightmare. Fighting Donald Brashear because Donald Brashear would grab grab his opponents close and just start just start hammering him with jackhammer punches and just taking guys down. I've I've seen him play guys. I've, I've seen him take guys down. I remember watching him in a preseason game between the Flyers and the Devils. I remember he beat the hell out of Scott Stevens. It was one of the no, Scott Stevens that I had. One hell of a beating by Donald Brashear. He played for the Flyers. From, I think he came to Flyers in, I think, 2002, 2003 season. And yeah, he was here for three seasons. So at number nine, Donald Brashear. At number eight, yes, at, at number eight, at number eight, at number eight, uh, I hate to, I know, it's weird to put a present day Philadelphia flyer on this list, but at number eight, Nick DeLaurier. I had to put Nick DeLaurier on this list. I mean, who can forget his epic fight, his epic bout with Matt Rempe of the New York Rangers, which was fight of the year, by the way. Nick DeLaurier is a no-nonsense Fighter, and let me tell you, he's taken out a few, taken down a few guys this year, and he has some epic battles this season. Nick Delorier is a true Philadelphia Flyer, and of course, where he is everything, every, every box is checked for him to be a Philadelphia Flyer. And of course, this guy is a badass, and this guy is one. 
tough SOB. So at number eight, Nick Delorier. Now we get into more number seven pick on this countdown. And at number seven, Zach Ronaldo. Oh yeah, Zach Ronaldo. Zach Ronaldo was he was a little guy. He wasn't as big as most enforcers, but he was a little fire plug. Zach Ronaldo was for the for for not for his size, Zach Ronaldo was a pretty tough guy. I've seen this guy fight. This guy is he, he's a freaking animal when he fights people. He just continually punch, punches somebody. The, the guy's an animal and I've seen him take guys on that were bigger than him. He may not have won some of those fights, but he was a tough guy and he wasn't gonna take any any shit from his opponent. So at number seven, Zach Ronaldo. Now we get to number six. And at number six, Dan Carcillo. Carcillo, I gotta tell you, dude was tough. Dude was a badass. Just get one look at this guy, and he looks like an absolute, an absolute badass. I've seen some of his, some of his fights over the years. He was one of the toughest fighters. I remember in a preseason game, he fought, um... Mark Frazier and knocked him out in one punch. And who can forget one of his fights in the World Classic is epic fight with Sean Thornton. Sean Thornton at the 2010 Winter Classic. That was a doozy of a fight. I gotta say, Carcillo. Well, he wasn't just he was wasn't just a tough guy. He was he had also score goals and he was highly skilled. When he had to be, but when he had to drop the gloves, he would drop the gloves. So at number six, Dan Carcillo. At number five, at number five, at number five, Dave Brown. This guy was one of the toughest Philadelphia Flyers of the 1980s era of the Philadelphia Flyers. He was strong. He was tough, and believe me, he could go. Night after night, when he had to fight somebody, he would take them on and fight them and show no mercy in his fights. So number five, so number, who was it, number eight? So at number, at number five, Dave Brown. Now we get into number four. On this countdown. Number four on this countdown. And at number four. At number four. At number four. Riley Cote. Riley Cote. Was a freaking badass. He was a martial artist. And a hockey player. And when he fought. He would. He would, he would use his. Martial arts skill. In a fight. The way he would throw his hands was incredible. He would take a lot of he would take a lot he would take a lot of punches and he would throw a lot of punches. Riley Cote, I was first introduced to Riley Cote when I went to a Philadelphia Santa Fe. His first fight of the season, it didn't go too well. But he had an ep epic battle with Brian Holwig of the Hartford Wolfpack when the Vandals played the wolf pack at the Wachovia Spectrum. And also, who can forget, who can forget when he knocked out Andrew, Andrew Wah, in the game between the Flyers and the Lightning. Riley Cote was one of the toughest to up the Flyers. And also, he was a, a great guy as well. Very nice, very pleasant to be around. And all around a great guy. So, at number four, Riley Cote. So, with, so with number four, Riley Cote. Now we get into number three. And at number three, Aaron, Aaron Asham. Let me tell you about Aaron Asham. This guy is a beast. This guy 
can fly. I've seen him knock out a few guys. Well, I remember one time he was fighting um he was fighting the guy who played for the St. Louis Blues. He was fighting um Jack Vanavia, St. Louis Blues. Aaron Asham got knocked 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 it out twice. He got right back up, continued the fight, and knocked the guy right back right out. It was an epic battle between two tough guys. Aaron Asham was a true badass, but he could also score goals when he had to. Let me tell you, when when he dropped the gloves, he struck fear into many opponents. So at number three, Aaron Asham. Now we get into our number two pick here on this countdown. And at number two, Bob the Hound Kelly. Oh, this guy. This guy. Very nice guy. Off the ice. But on the ice. And on up. But on the ice. He's a fierce competitor. And one of the toughest flyers and forcers. And one of the toughest flyers and forcers. During the Broad Street Bully era. Bob Kelly was a big guy. But he was strong. He was tough. He was mean. He was what the Flyers needed to turn things around. When I captured two Stanley Cups in 73, 74, and 74, 75. Bob the Hound Kelly was a badass. And he was the, one of the OG badasses of the Philadelphia Flyers. Before we get into our number one pick, here are some of my honorable mentions. Here are some of my honorable, honorable mentions. Here are some of my honorable mentions. Here are some of my honorable mentions. Rick Tockett. Rick Tockett was a highly skilled player, but he also dropped, dropped the gloves if he needed to. He was the heart and soul of the 1980 Philadelphia Flyers. He was a tough, strong player that had heart, courage, and determination. And when he had to fight, he would fight, and he was one of the toughest guys that ever played hockey for the Philadelphia Flyers. Dan Kordick. Dan Kordick was a pretty solid, tough guy. Whenever he gets on gone to a fight, he can absolutely handle himself. One of the toughest Philadelphia Flyers of the 1990s. Zach McEwen. Zach McEwen was a Philadelphia Flyer at one time. He had some epic fights. The Lehigh Valley Phantoms and the Philadelphia Flyers. He was he was a tough guy with a heart of gold. He was me. He was nice off the ice. But when on the ice, when he was dropping them when he was dropping the gloves, he was a fierce competitor. Sacrifice was a tough guy but also a great humanitarian as well. Tyrell Goldborn. Tyrell Goldborn played for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms, and he was one of the toughest Lehigh Valley Phantoms that ever played. So he had some epic bouts and some epic knockouts as well, even now knocking out former flyer and phantom Zach Sertini. Tyrell Goldburn is a real tough guy. I've seen him fight a guy who played for the Charlotte Chargers one time. It was an epic bout. And Tyrell Goldburn came out on top with a knockout. Tyrell Goldburn was a badass, a tough guy, and a great guy as well. 
I met him back in 2016 at the Philadelphia. Well, I, I met him back in 2016 at the Flyers Carnival. All around great guy. All around great guy. And now we get to our last honorable mention, the Chief, Craig Berube. Oh, yeah. This guy was tough. Actually, I'm not done yet. I got, I got, I got one more. He was, this guy was tough. Our next honorable mention. Our next honorable mention. The Chief, Craig Berube. Craig Berube was an OG Philadelphia Flyer and an OG Flyers tough guy. Craig Berube was one of the baddest men, baddest, one of the toughest fighters in the 1980s for the Philadelphia Flyers. And he was also one of the toughest fighters in the 90s and the late 90s, as well as he signed with the Flyers once again. He also played briefly for the Philadelphia Phantoms, and he had some epic fights there as well. So, we have it. Craig Berube. And now we get into our last honorable mention, and that is Josh Gratton. Josh Gratton was a badass, a tough guy, and one of the toughest fighters that played for the Philadelphia Phantoms and the Philadelphia Flyers. You can forget when he fought. Adam Mayer, and Adam Mayer, Adam Mayer, and Adam Mayer, and Andre Roy at the same time. Don't you forget when he fought Adam Mayer and Andrew Peters, both in the same game. Let's not forget his epic fight with Matt Bradley when he knocked Matt TKO and Matt Bradley. We can also forget his epic fights with rival Brian McGratton. Josh Gratton was one of my favorite tough guys. I always remember him from the Philadelphia Phantom. He was also a Calder Cup champion in 2005. Now that we got our honorable mentions out of the way, before, let's, let's, let's we get our honorable mentions out of the way, the way there has not been any commercials in this video. That's okay. We're going to make this commercial free. So at number one, at number one, the OG tough guy, the legendary Dave the Hammer Schultz at number one. Dave Schultz was a legend. Dave Schultz, that name struck fear in many, many opponents. Dave Schultz was a no-nonsense, tough guy. He would drop his gloves and handle his business. Dave Schultz was one of the toughest Philadelphia Flyers that ever existed. He had a mean, tough nature to him. Tough nature to him. But he would not take any shit from any of his opponents. If you ever got in Dave Schultz's way, you probably regret it. Dave Schultz is one of the OG Philadelphia Flyers and one of the foundations of the Philadelphia Flyers team. He is a Hall of Famer, he's a tough guy, and he's one of my favorite Philadelphia Flyers tough guys. So at number one, I had to go with the, the OG, Sergeant Schultz, and put him on this list as number one. Because if it wasn't for Dave Schultz, there wouldn't be any, there wouldn't be the Philadelphia Flyers. There wouldn't be the Broad Street Bully. So I had to put him at number one on this list. Folks, thank you for joining me here on this week's edition of the Flyers Guys Top 10. 
I'll be continuing to do more of these countdown videos. Uh, um, I'll be more of these countdown videos. So stay tuned. I don't know what I'm going to do next. I think I'm going to count down my top 10 favorite Philadelphia Flyers goal songs. So stay tuned for that. Folks, stay tuned. We get to witness some of my favorite Philadelphia Flyer goal horns, goal songs, in the next episode of the Flyer Shite Top 10. We are a month closer to the NHL preseason. Flyers countdown videos will be continuing. Guys, thank you for joining me. And have a great day, everyone. And let's go. And let's go, Flyers.